Hey guys, welcome to day two of credit three. We're going to go over your uh, word practices. So the first word practice here is, uh, again, opening up your Declaration of Independence Modified document. Uh, and that's on page 10 there. We're going to open that up. Uh, we do that by uh, browsing to our flash drive and going to our Word Projects folder and then opening in Declaration of Independence Modified. It should pop up like that. All right, now to select all the signatures at the bottom, it's okay if you also select the name of the states that you have. All right, I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom, and I'm going to select all these names. Boom, there we go. Okay, what do I do next? Change the font to Brush Script MT. Okay, we're going to type in BRU up here at the top. There it is, Brush Script. I'm going to hit Enter. Change. Okay. Change the title at the top of the page that says in Congress. All right, so we're going to scroll back up here to the top of the page. It says in Congress, and it says change it to any color blue you like. Okay, I'm going to go here to my font color. So you see how this, there's this A here, and then with the uh, color underlining it, that's our font color. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to select this nice sort of baby blue there. Uh, and then it says change the bolded part that says the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America, that's this part right here, I'm going to highlight it. So you do that by clicking with your uh, left click there, you left click and then drag to highlight, and then it pops up the option here, or I can go up here and change it if I want to. So either, either place, I'm going to go here and I'm going to change it to bright red. There you go. Okay, now resave the document to your flash drive under the same name. So all that means is all you gotta do here is hit the save button right here. Boom, and I'm done. Okay, cool. Now let's move on. What's our next practice? Okay, it says open your Declaration of Independence modified document. Okay, I'm there. I'm already, it's already got open. Now it says change the margins to narrow. Okay, so I'm gonna go to page layout here. And I'm gonna go to margin, and I'm gonna change it from normal to narrow. Whoa, okay, see how much uh, more text get fit on, fit on the page that way. All right, now it says change page size to legal. So I'm going to go to size, and I'm going to change it from letter to legal. All right, and you'll see that made it a lot longer also. Okay, and resave the document. So I'm going to hit my save button again, and I'm done. All right, moving on. Let's see what our next assignment is. Well, it looks like that's it. There's no more uh, practices. There's some notes you got to take and some tutorials you need to read. Uh, you're going to look up on printing documents. Uh, I just want to go over that really fast while I got you guys here. In order to print, you guys just go to File, which is right here, and then go down to the Print button, and it brings up a bunch of printer options here. And they'll go over the printer options in, um, in the packet and in the tutorial. Um, but this is the button you print, uh, hit to actually print it. You can change the number of copies right here by clicking up or down, or you can actually type in a number like 12 if you want to print out a bunch of them. Um, the printer, you can have your default printer here, so this is whatever printer you normally print to and have set as your default printer. Um, but you may have a whole bunch of them. Uh, I have a whole lot of them because I, I move around to different offices and uh, sometimes I'm, I'm printing wherever I am. So. Um, I might need to select a different printer from my list there. Um, and then you've got various options here, like um, you could adjust the margins here if you wanted to. Uh, you could change the, the change it to landscape if you wanted to, as opposed to portrait. So you've got other options there, but that's your, your print print, just so that uh, we've gone over it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and good luck with the class.